All right, on your side right now, we are continuing our conversation with the Knox County Health Department about Webidemic, uh, their effort now to combat online health misinformation. Each month, they are focusing on a different topic, and in August, they're going to be discussing confirmation bias. Here to kind of walk us through this, Fiona McAnally with the Health Department's Director of Community Assessment and Planning. Thank you so much, Fiona, for coming by. And all right, first, conf confirmation bias. Mm -hmm. Let's run through the defi definition of this. Sure. Well, thanks for having sure. us. Basically, it's looking at any new evidence or information out there and trying to find something that confirms what you already believe. Okay. And it's really human nature to do that. Right. So this is, the, you know, you see it and you go, ah, oh, I've known, known this forever or I never heard of this before, so I I don't follow with this. I don't, you know, I don't believe it. Exactly, and that's yeah. one of the dangers, especially when it comes to health information, because you're looking for something that right. confirms what you believe, and it keeps you from being open-minded or receiving new information objectively. Okay, so kind of run through some examples then. Sure. It's uh, you, we hear a lot about gluten. Right. Every you know, gluten-free diets and gluten sensitivity or even gluten intolerance. So if you suspect you might have that without checking with your medical professional, right. <laughs> uh, you know, you'll do the web search. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't get on the internet the sure. minute they think they have something? Right. <laughs> but you may find things and you say, oh, I have those symptoms. Well, it may keep you from having a balanced diet and eating whole grains. So first of all, always talk to your doctor or medical right. professional before you make any health decision. Yeah, I mean, that's the key is to go and sit down and have a conversation. Let them know what you're experiencing. I mean, you can even throw in there, okay, I'll look this up, and they can say, well, yeah, but you missed this part. Right. right. Okay. So then what do we need to do then? I mean, you mentioned go talk to your doctor. Is there anything else that we can do to kind of combat this? Sure. I think it's just keeping an open mind, mm -hmm. actually maybe reading the opposite viewpoint of okay. what you might think, um, and balancing, have a balanced viewpoint, and try to look at who's writing the articles or the studies you're reading. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you, you'll look, read a, a study and then realize, oh, wait a minute. Who produced it is, is a biased study. Exactly, yeah. it's inherently biased. So okay. it's just feeding feeding that beast of information. Okay, sounds good. So again, do your research. That's the key, doctor. Doctor, should we talk to our friends at all, or should we <laughs> stay away from that? Because sometimes that can be. Well, biased maybe as well. if your friend is a doctor. Okay, there you go. That's a good way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. A lot of this information, can we go to the health department and, and get more details on this? Is Definitely. This, yeah. Our website um, will give you a lot of background. What is a good study? What mm -hmm. is good evidence? Um, Knox County Health Department, part of Knox County. So extra information is available there on our website. Fantastic. I like the fact, going, go into it with an open mind when you look at anything online, especially when you're talking about your health. Definitely. Okay, sounds good. Hey, we want to remind everybody we've got this information for you as far as confirmation bias is concerned. You can find it on our website in the As Seen On section. Very easy for you to find. Fiona, great to have you here. Great. Thanks for having us. Thank you.